So today I'll be going through with you how to do coronary angio post-processing with advanced restation GE. So um, after the procedure we chose reconstructed to get um, a phase of 70 to 80 then 40 to 50 then we have the injection fraction slice that is 10 to 90 and this is the ultra procedure and this is the reconstructed one so what we go through is we have the shortcuts for the cardiac series over here so we click on the cardiac express so with this one what we are going to do is call vessel analysis so we're going through the vessels one by one so this is what we come to do so with this phase it's using it's not using one face when you click on this one it will show that it's using 70 75 and 80 faces to reconstruct so and each each one of them has this number of images and the thickness used for this is um, 0 0.2 and the spacing is 0 0.2 and the field of view is 17.6 just normal okay so what we do is we click okay so it's loading it's telling us that it's performing 3d filtering so when after everything is done it will give you the images so this one, so we have this the face 80, 80% 80 face. And let's see 75. Okay, 75 is giving us extra vessels. Let's go to 70. 70 is giving us less. So, but I prefer 75, giving us the extra vessels. Let me look at 80. Okay, so 75 is fine. So what I'll do is I'll reconstruct using this images. So with this one there is a and there's a 3D reconstructing error here. So what we do is you have to grow a vessel. So you go to segment. Then you choose um, auto select and you choose small vessel. So with the small vessel, you are adding. So you click on the add to highlight the add. The one you come to where the vessel is, you just click and hold to drag it. So it will just outline all the vessels. And where you want to join, so you click and hold, left click and hold, so you left click and hold like that. Just left click and hold like that. So, so if you think it's as over, done it, you just go to undo. And it will just undo everything for you. Okay, so I think this is perfect. So that is the left side. 
So we have the left anterior descending with eight branches. So that one we can see if we can grow it well. Okay, it ends there. Then let's see if it can grow. It can go further. Then this one, let's see how far it can go. Okay. Okay, so let's see how the vessel is growing. Okay. It's kind of great feather. Okay. So we have plenty of vessels coming out from this one. Okay, so you just how to grow the vessels. Or better still, you can grow it from the images from here and that's lies okay so you go through like that okay go through to save okay so everything no vessel is being left out everything is fine yeah. so you close then these are the vessels so the one you think that is not amount there the fourth vessel that has been provided you can just go to add branches you can rename some of them then you can remove some of them when everything is done then you save the protocol so what we are doing is we list the left ostium okay so let's take it from here to here so it is doing the it's performing the vessel tracking then let's click on the left anterior descending so this is the left anterior descending so so it goes all the way so i'm rotating there it goes all the way from here to catches down to this area so it will track that vessel so it's performing the it's performing the vessel tracking so it's done tracking it okay then we have the so on it we have a diagonal so this could be the first diagonal so first diagonal so there is the first diagonal now let's see if we get something down there okay so this is the second diagonal okay second diagonal so it just struck so this is the circumflex. So let's click on the left circumflex. Okay. So it's a tracker of them. Okay, it is done. And then on it we have the it's much now. So we have so you see that this vessel is coming out from the left circumflex. So that is the first marginal. So the first marginal, left marginal branch. Okay. Okay. 
okay so this is it this is the second one but because of the time let me continue I still let's see let's say I want to add a second marginal so I can go through it and see if the second of two is so the second marginal I can just add to it so it's been added and I'll close it now I come and take it I said this is the second marginal okay so let's go to the right so click on the right and you come right okay so this is one so it should be more than one centimeter so Okay, so let's go to right coronary artery. Okay, so so the right coronary artery. You will take up to this level. Then the posterior descending, which goes all the way to join this one. So we have up to here. And so it has struck a different way. So when this happens, what you have to do is deselect it and select it again. So with this one, we just go from this vessel little by little the multiple point selection mm -hmm. so what the reason why we are doing this is that because we are doing vessel analysis so each of the vessels has to track it so we have the posterior lateral branch which is not here but this is acute marginal branch so we can just go and add so if there's no acute marginal so you can just add and continue so acute marginal so we just click on it like this and it's tracking it. It's a form of vessel tracking. Okay, it's done. Okay, so what we are doing is you go to after everything is done, is so you make sure that all the things here is complete. It's a track every vessel. You go to next. So the next is performing vessel. It's performing a quantifications on all the vessels so it will go through all the vessels one by one and it will give you out the outline so each vessel that you have to go through to measure stenosis to measure plug analysis a diameter and everything it will give it to you so it will take some time possibly This is acute marginal. So this is where it draws. Okay, so this is the second screen. And this is the first screen. So you can go through each of the vessels. So you can go through each of the vessels. So what we are doing, let's go through the one by one. So left anterior descending. So this, this is the left anterior descending. So we can go through the vessels one by one. So this is the left anterior descending. So if we want to go through, we can just go through the one by one. 
putri dan rasa suang bawa dari hal itu ya so now let's look at the lumen you can choose the lumen analysis so this is the lumen and this Or you can just put the hats there to show the vessels around it. Okay. And we have the let's look at the circumflex. So this is the circumflex. Marginal. Okay. So you can just go through like that to see and the stenosis. So here you can measure if there is any stenosis, if there is any plug with 3D angles, kept the stance, marker, manual distances, the rest. So with this, what you can do next is you go to what we call the summary table at the top. So when you click on it, it gives you the vessel analysis platform to save what you want to save. So you have options. So within the options, you have the advanced report. So within the angle of each vessel, 45 to 90, I want to see the vessel. Then sort by location, that is fine. And then we have show slice in this, show rust coordinates, and that is fine. So when you are done with everything like this, you can just, if you want to export it to PDF, or you can just save. So let's export to PDF. Okay, no USB then, but you can save to database or to firma. So let's do that. So it's just taking a picture of it, but that 45 to 90 degrees that we take, so it will give us the table. So this is the PDF. So I'm go slice by slice to show you the vessel. Slice by slice. Slice by slice to show you the vessels, each vessel that's went through. So this is the last slice. So that is it. So for instance, let's say you want to measure vessel stenosis. So we can just go here and maybe we measure from here to here. So to give us the stenosis value and everything. So let's go back again then when you are, if you want to print, if you want to save to give you these values and everything. So it's being stenosed by 11%. Okay, so let's save to database again and see how it will be. Telling you where you did the measurements and everything. So that is how it is. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.